Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. So what's new? First things, straight away, we've got some interesting stuff to show you. This is what I was waiting for the other day. If we go to fields, and we just pop a field over this stump, it's gone. And then we switch to our little hammer, change it to destroy. Bingo. So stumps now are really easy to clear. We'll do that once more. So open up the menu, building, farming, field, pop it down, switch to hammer, make sure the hammer's on destroy. Boom, gone. Nice and easy. So no more stumps where you don't want them. Fantastic. Great news there. I'm glad that the developer got that in quite quick. I can clean up and tidy up the area now. Make it look beautiful. Beautiful. Right. So, some of the things we've already had in the chat is the effectiveness of building this building first as opposed to others. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, but I want, I want shoes. <laughs> Tom Mendo wants shoes. Need some shoes. Nice shoes. So... Other buildings, we haven't unlocked the hunting lodge yet. That's one of the things I want to focus on is the hunting lodge. So I'm going to have to go out and hunt, I suppose, and try and find some more just general animals, which in turn gives me leather, which gives me shoes. So I'm going to do a, 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 a few bits and pieces in the storyline now just to move things forward and talk to some neighbours. So we'll skip ahead now and again to little bits of interest. I'll see you all in a moment. Hello everybody. Well, okay, so it's the following day. I went, I went hunting for a bit as Baron Tormunder. We... Killed a few basic animals, I think too wild. Got some furs and some leather. Came back. Let me just eat a flatbread. Excellent. Came back and did a little bit of work in my sewing area on some thatch or straw hats. You know what? I want some more. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is collect some reeds. I mean, it's not a huge amount of money. Of course it's not. But let me show you what I mean in a moment. Let's get, let's get enough. And what we're going to do is go back into town sell some straw hats chat up a few women <laughs> try and increase a little bit of reputation there or approval from them and the straw hats are really light and then I'm going to knock down a few more trees inside the village and sell them to them I get skill from doing this this is really cool just from like picking reeds and there's a ton of them and they're not heavy. Easy way to level up survival. Now, I am obviously going to need a lot of this for building. So I'm kind of taking away my resources. But look, there's fields of them. I'm not that concerned. Oh, I'm slightly encumbered. So I'm just going to eat a few berries plenty of berries around and I could do with a little bit more food and water right another thing is rivers you you don't drown <laughs> I'll, show you to, I'll just walk across the river la, 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 la. they're not deep enough or I'm just magic and I float by walking so there you go I, I've tried a couple of rivers I haven't found one yet that is too deep for me just not to walk across so the bridges are nice, but you can just walk across the river. 
And actually, you get washed when you do it. So you don't even need to have a washing basin. You could just walk across a river and you create the other side smelling lovely. <laughs> so, in here, hats, straw hat. This is the cheapest basic straw hat. Let's make some straw hats. So the recipe itself cost me 50 gold to unlock. So at the very minimum, I want to be getting a return on my 50 gold. Never mind the profit. I, I, I need that 50 gold straight back. I'll show you now. So we've got to get a bunch of skill. And then if we have a quick look in our inventory, they are... 25 gold each and we've got seven of them and they weigh next to nothing fantastic <laughs> so i'm now gonna quickly race ahead to the town it's back in a moment so here we are in town i'm calling it a town but it's not even a, not even a village it's like a hamlet let's just talk to somebody here I could try and get some approval first. A. Have you heard any gossip? Plus five approval. A again. I don't think she's going to be interested in any of that. Oh, a noble nearby. She'll probably be interested in that. Nope, she wasn't. Let's just go to the ways. So. My. Oh, no. She only wants them for five. No. Ah, oh. shocking! That that's that's put a dent <laughs> in my plans. Let's go and try talk to somebody else. See if see if nine's the best offer I get. Oh, I was hoping for like. Well, we can still get our fifty get back. I mean that's. That is the important thing right now. Let's talk to this guy. Um, how's the job? He was not happy with that. I'm at 45 approval now. Uh, it's only nine. I don't think they're going to be anything different than nine. Even with 100 approval, I'm not sure it's going to go up. We'll try one more person. And then... <laughs> do you do you no 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 I want to do I'm going to talk to somebody I want to talk to somebody that I can potentially I think she's in here make some money off I don't know if this is going to work hey ooh nice weather no she was not interested oh, <laughs> it's all the wrong options okay well we're going to sell these I mean, it's not not the end of the world there, but oh, I could, <laughs> she's selling them for fifty. That's shocking, isn't it? Daylight robbery. Okay, no worries, no worries at all, because I am now going to do the ultimate: sell you back your own stuff, and I'm going to cut down. And pick up stuff inside your town. Although I don't think you've got many trees left inside your town. I've cut them all down. I'm going to go and cut down some trees in the town. And sell them back to them. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we've sold a few things and got ourselves to 342 gold. It's not huge amounts. But it's definitely going to be enough. You know, if I need to buy, you know, food or manure and things for the next few days. So... Quickly, before we leave, let's see if we can successfully talk to somebody and... Uh, let's see. Approval 50%. Talk with a noble? Yes, okay. Um, how have you been? Okay, we're doing well. Don't push it, though, isn't it? Uh, just come back from work. She's not going to want to do that. What have they been working at? No, she's she's not going to be interested in 
either of those things. And there's no point. Oh, we can try flirting. Um. Uh, <laughs> we can marry. Okay, we're gonna do, do the. You remind me of some flowers. Oh, we got a plus five affection. Woohoo! I think. I think we better not push it there. We'll try that another day. Although she looks like she's married here. Yeah. Not sure if this is the same family, but. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like. Hey, your wife's, your wife's cool, man. <laughs> Oh dear. Brilliant. Okay, so. We could. Oh, I could try and knock off some of these side quests. Oh, the person they want me to talk to on that quest is over over there. Let's wait until I've got more than one quest to go over there. Let's check this one. Um, not really sure where he wants me to go for this quest. Oh, I have to complete some side quests. I don't need the extra buildings just now. I will complete some side quests, though. Just to get them ticked off so we can have more buildings at some time. So I'm thinking... I've unlocked a few buildings now. And although I like my little sewing hut, so I can make myself some straw hats, even though they robbed me, robbed me blind, they did. God, they offered me so little for all my hard work. I'm thinking, let's get some kind of storage down. Uh, a hunter's lodge if I can do it yet. Yeah, we'll have a look. So let's clear these stumps again. So this is quite easy as I've already shown. Buildings field. Bosch to destroy and all all done. No stump. Let's clear area. Right, I cleared a bit off to this side. I think this is a nice spot for another building. What kind of buildings do we have right now? So crafting. I can do a workshop. Um, survival, nothing yet. Storages, I can do a resource storage. I think that sounds sensible. So for the storage, I need 10 logs. That's a lot to try and carry, so let's empty what I'm carrying now. Check all my berries in there. Check all my sticks in there. The straw. My onions. I have no idea how much this can take. Oh, it can take 50 kilos. Um, and I'll dump some of my roasted meat. There we go. So that's me pretty light. I do need to eat as well, actually. So while we are here, let's get rid of some of this roasted meat. Fantastic. Have a drink. Now let's go get ourselves a bunch of logs. So I want to deforest an area that I'm going to want to use soon. So I think the area at the back of this could be a good idea. Let's get all these cut. Oh, wait for my stamina to come back. Cutting trees is hard work, you know. Uh, no stamina. Oh, okay, so. Oh, I've created an arch. And I broke my house. So. Let's get these. One, two. Excellent. Got four from that one. Uh, 
and four from this one. We're still not encumbered. Ah, I'm encumbered now. Pick up the extra two just because I can. So let's think about location facing. Uh, it makes sense with the face of the road. Oh, that's a big old building, isn't it? I can't zoom out either, so that's a little bit annoying. You can't really at this point you want to be able to zoom back so you can see the placement. Especially on a building this large. I don't think I'm going to be able to recuperate my placed resources if I don't like how it looks. <laughs> okay, well, I did have a green. Oh, there you go again. We got a green. Oh, we have a green. Where's the... There. Okay, rotate the tall. Oh... I mean, a little bit of a... No, it's literally very limited there. We'll just go for it. Boom. That's okay. That is okay. It's nicely on the path. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. So what are we going to need? A lot, I bet. And... What options have we got? There's one type of... What about the ceiling? Just a thatch roof. We can't do anything else. Okay. Let's get... Working here. I think this is going to be quite nice. But this is going to take a ton of resources. <laughs> and probably take me the rest of this day. Okay, I'm going to skip forward and see you again in a moment. Okay, it took us until like the next morning or until the beginning of autumn to get that finished. There's a lot of resources to get that built. But it does, but it's built. There's a storage in here too. And I believe when we get other workers and other buildings doing things and gathering, that's where the resources are going to go. So that's going to be quite useful. Now, strangely, in the management, it says I have 70 taxes to pay now. If I look in here, well, that's 60. Nothing, nothing. So my taxes say 60. But this says 70. So I'm not quite sure where it's gained the other 10 taxes from. If anybody knows, let me know. But yeah. Odd one. You seem to have an odd amount of taxation going on here. Right. So. Let's go and check on my... Carrots. If I can remember where my field is, up by here somewhere. Here we go. We have carrots. Carrots. Fantastic. Oh, and we just unlocked food storage as well. Probably perfect timing. Now, yes, we're going to need manure to refresh that side, but we're not going to be able to plant anything in this season, I think, now. I think this is too late. I mean, we could check on here. So, yeah, the only thing, there's a few things you could do. But we don't have any of those things. So, as far as farming is concerned, we're, we're done for now. We're going to have to just hope we have enough bits and pieces to last us until the spring. Our harvest has been completed. So, in here, we have... Right, let's see what seeds did we get. Oh, that's okay. We got a good seed return. In here we have onions. 
So I have onions and carrots. Let's just drop all this straw off for a moment. Onions, carrots, and a bit of meat. Let's just see if there's anything in here that we can do. We can do stew. Anything different down below? No, so we can just cook our roasted meat, or we can do some stew. Let's have a look and see what stew gives us. Does getting more meat's not that difficult? I'll go and check my trap in a minute to see if I've got another rabbit. Then I'll probably make a few straw hats going to town. Let's have a look. Talk to her. The lady again. We he see if we can make her happier. Stew. Now that's expensive, but they're they're not giving me like even a tiny amount of that. So it might just be using for myself through winter. How long does some of this stuff last? Is the question. Onions are fresh. Flatbread, ooh, it's just about out. So I need to eat my flatbreads. That's next. Otherwise, they're going to start going off. Oh, this is like a bunch of mushrooms in the middle of the road. Fantastic. I have a bit of that. Oh, wonderful. Are these a different type of mushrooms? But are they, are they going to show in... My pack is the same type of mushroom, or are they going to show as different? Let's have a quick look. No, they are showing us different types of mushrooms. Brilliant, brilliant. Oh, and some of these are more expensive. <laughs> Not that town's going to do anything, but I'm wondering what, what goodies I can make with these mushrooms. So what's next? You ask, where are you going next, Baron? What's going to be in the next episode? Well, I'm thinking... Other than having a word with the king about my tax errors... <laughs> um, I mean, can I do a hunting lodge yet? Have I unlocked it? No. The only thing I've unlocked is a food storage, which I, I'm not that bothered about right now. And a tavern. <laughs> a tavern for just me. So I'm thinking, let's talk to some people in town. Maybe do a little bit of the quest to Try and see if we can get people happier. I'm not sure if that's going to do. I know it says I can unlock more buildings. As in the main I can place. But I think we're okay at the moment to place maybe... If I can get a production building of some kind. Something that gathers. And then see if we can hire somebody to do gathering for me. That'll take the pressure off my time running around gathering. So I think that's the plan. Next episode is see if we can get somebody to take the pressure off me gathering resources. So I'm hoping you're enjoying this series. I know I am focusing quite heavily on the, the town part and not so much on the questing. But I think the town part is probably the most interesting right now. Getting some people in, getting some citizens. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to focus next episode, exactly as I said. And maybe later on, if people want to see some questing and some hunting, we can do that. Maybe go off and fight some wolves. But right now, let's expand our little village and get some people other than me. That would be fantastic. Okay, everybody. Don't forget to hit the, the subscribes and the bell if you want to make sure you catch the next one. Leave comments, uh, like, dislike, do whatever, you, whatever you, you feel. That's absolutely fine. Leave some comments, leave some tips, leave some ideas. Love to read them all. And see you all next time. Bye.